Um, I'm almost 63, and I retired in 2014, and I think that's what really spurred me to start looking into this. I'd always wanted to get my eyes done, because I had my dad's horrible baggy eyes, and I had big bags. I could have gone to Europe for two weeks. But then, my 88-year-old mother kept saying, what about all this? I mean, I could have gone to Europe for six weeks with all of this. So um, I talked to friends, and I did some research online, and one of my friends had been to Dr. Nictor for a procedure, not a light lift, but something else. Really loved him, so I um, took notes and did some research online, and I really liked what I saw on their website, too, about, you know, I, I saw the natural look of the people, and that's what I wanted. I really, I didn't, I kept saying, Dr. Nictor, I don't want to look like that. I don't want to look like, you know, Joan Rivers. I love her, but I didn't want to look like that. I wanted to look like a normal person, just refreshed. And I wanted to also, you know, be with someone that I felt comfortable with. And I had, I actually visited a plastic surgeon in the area before Dr. Nictor, and I walked out really disappointed. I didn't feel like I really learned that much about the procedure. I didn't feel like there was a connection with him as a doctor, and he kind of like whizzed in and out. Dr. Nictor came in and spent a lot of time with me. And what really impressed me with him is he asked me a lot of questions not only about my expectations to make sure he knew what I was looking for because I did have multiple procedures but he asked me a lot about my lifestyle he asked me about my personal life he got to know my personality he wanted to know what do I do for fun what is my lifestyle and I think that really helped him understand my expectations better so I went for it, and I got my surgery in September of 2015 on 9-11. So that just goes to show, I was like, let's go for it on 9-11. That's going to be my, my day. And um, I would say that I walked out of there looking like a Smurf, because I did add the Obagi blue peel, so I, my whole face was swollen and blue. Um, I thought it was kind of cute, actually, but my husband did not like it. I will say, I learned my lesson. You better warn your spouse or caregiver what you're going to look like when they come to pick you up, because he said he was totally in shock. Um, but I felt good, and my recovery was excellent. I mean, I didn't have any pain either. I never even took the pain pills. I had an eye eyes upper and lower, I had a temple lift, I had fat removed, fat put in my cheeks, I had the light lift, and probably other things that I don't even know about. <laughs> um, it was all good. I took Tylenol. That's all I needed. And I know that's not the same for everyone, because a friend of mine was so impressed with what I looked like that she came to Dr. Nictor and had her surgery, and she, by the way, looks really good. Um, but she had some pain, you know, so it's different for everyone. I think you have to be ready for it. And I couldn't be happier. I, matter of fact, when I walked in and saw my before and after, I've, not, I've never seen Dr. Nictor's skills as a photographer. And it really kind of choked me up because, you know, when you see it every day, you don't notice the difference quite as much. But I'm telling you right now, my friends know that if they post an old photo of me on Facebook anymore, they're going to hear it from me because I'm sick of seeing that. I wanted to look like myself, but I kind of wanted to be able to see my eyes. I wanted to get rid of, I wanted to see a little profile and definition. And I like the new photos on Facebook. Get rid of those old photos on Facebook. So, thank you.